Hello, it's Keith from Kinvert. I'm going to be talking about angles. We always measure an angle from the x-axis and then go this way towards it. All right, so one of the common angles you'll see is like a 45 degree angle. So again, we measure from here to here. That's the positive direction, right? This is 45 degrees. And that is the same as pi over 4 radians. Okay, because remember, if you go all the way over to here, this is pi. This is pi over 2. You might not know this yet. I'm not sure. And then uh, 2 pi over 3. And then this is 2 pi, or 0. 0 is the same, basically, as 2 pi. It just depends. All right, but so that's 45 degrees. Now, let's say that you've got, let's do a green one here. Let's say you've got a line here. Okay. Now, yes, in a way, this is negative 45 degrees. Okay, but what you really want to do is count it the correct way. And that's, uh, let's see, we're at 90, 180, 270. And if this is at a 45, so 270, we're at, we'd be at 315. So this is 315 degrees. And it measures all the way around like this. Okay, you start at the x-axis, and then you go counterclockwise, and you measure here. Right, and so here's the, the common angles. You got pi over 2, that's the same as 90 degrees. Uh, what else have we got? We've got pi, that's the same as 180 degrees. This is the same as 270. And 0 is 2 pi, which is also 360, basically. Right, so if you've got a line that's just next to it, but it's like this, and we'll just pretend this is 1 degree between here and here, but this is not 1 degree. This line is at a 359 degree angle because you measure it according to the x-axis. Um, again, the main ways to measure are radians. And you'll t typically recognize a radian because it's going to have the number pi in it. Does that make sense? And then you've got degrees. And uh, those tend to be you know, between 0 and 360 degrees, um, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, these are different ways to measure angles. You can measure angles between things, you know what I mean? Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with angles. I can't even really begin to tell you all the, the applications of them. I mean, it's, it's just too numerous to say, but let's say, uh, an, you know, in engineering, an early level problem is an inclined plane. And so let's say you've got a ramp that's at 30 degrees, and it's perfectly smooth, and you're pushing a box up that ramp of a known weight, how much force is it going to take to push the box up the ramp? That's one of the kind of common problems that you'll run into um, in engineering, and that's going to make heavy use of sine, cosine, and you're going to be throwing angles in there and all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the basic introduction to angles. Remember that you always start on the x-axis. Always start here on the x-axis and then you work your way around until you get to whatever you're measuring. And that's how you measure angles. Hope this was helpful. Keith from Kinvert. We will see you guys later. Bye-bye.